Undertale by Toby Fox Bam, so you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I have to take you someplace really special, a place I like to spend a lot of time. And then we do a 180. My house. Uh, hold on. There we go. Go in. And then we'll go to Papyrus's room. We finished looking around. We could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Inside? Yes. So, um... If you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry, you can spell prepared. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We've, we're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step 1. Press the C button on your keyboard for Dating Hub. Oh. It is Thursday. Huh. There's a, there are multiple doggos everywhere. Egg. I think we were ready for step 2. Step 2. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I the great papyrus. Yeah, we can go on a date. R really? Wowee, I guess that means it's time for part three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. You're wearing clothing. That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be you've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. <laughs> no, I, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me out on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! Genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, whatever you just said is invalid. The date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. The souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. My hat? My hat. My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Open it. Do you know what it is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any old pasta. This is artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in, in, a, in an oaken case. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! time to end this. There's no way you can get, eat it. You take a small bite. Your face re reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! Human, it's clear now. You are madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. 
<laughs> uh, babe, don't worry. You don't need a race car bed and a cool dude shirt. But if you want, I can find you a cool dude shirt. So don't worry. I can, I can cover you on the cool dude shirt. I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh shoot, human, I am sorry. I do not like you the way you like me. You can get a race car bed if you want, but I'm asking if you want a cool dude shirt. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. Yeah, don't worry, Papyrus. I know the feeling. Definitely know the feeling. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I the great Papyrus. Alright, then I'll get your mom a cool dude shirt. Have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into my, your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. That's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you get through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like, like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. So since he, Papyrus' words are all caps and the only one who has words in all caps, I imagine he's just shouting all the time. Probably like Jacksepticeye, you know? So please, don't cry because I want to kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find somebody as great. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for the second best. <laughs> Yeah, so he's shouting all the time. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> he's shouting 24-7. Scans. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Let's save. Checkpoint. What? Haven't you, haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Groby's. Want to come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greeting, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must think... You must be thinking of brunch. Hey, here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I'm gonna go fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby will have a double order of fries. Oops, hold on. So what do you think of my brother? Cool? Uncool? I'm gonna go with cool, because he is pretty cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He's only taking that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. You want some ketchup? Uh, no. More for me. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was at, it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. 
Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? No. I'll tell you, then. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I, I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you, can you foot the bill? It's just ten thousand gold. Yes. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Can we take the fries? No, the fries are gone. Damn it. I want to see if we could take the fries. Sound of Russian war. Determination. Wait, hold on. There's got to be something down here. Talking flower. I swore I saw something behind the rushing water. Oh wait, there's a camera back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Dine. I'm here with my daily report uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did you fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? But, well, no. I tried very hard on dying. But in the end, I failed. But what? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But I'm dying. You don't ha have to destroy them, you see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Menacing. And run. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. That's an Incredibles reference, isn't it? Wait, no, the little kid says amazing. Never mind. I'm so jealous. What'd you do if you get her attention? Haha, <laughs> come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Fight. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. 30 gold. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? Um, I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a gross bandage. Is that true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? What will you say? Yes. So you are wearing a gross bandage. Got it. Wink wink. Have a nice day. Click. Alright, just pass through here. Fight. Clean. Okay. Mercy. Okay, can't go this way, so I gotta go up. This is just telling about how the humans lock the the uh, monsters away.
Ouch. Frick. Oh! I got away! Damn it! Frick! Ah. <sighs> oh, it saved me here. Great. I'm almost back to where I was before. Just keep running, just keep running. Ah! Yeah, there's nothing I can really do there. Damn it! Ouch. Come, 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 come. And Undying Retreats. Yo, did you see that? Undying just touched me. Ne I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky if you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Keeps falling on his face. Just about back where I was before. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yes. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about your clothing? Well, a friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because of you knew that, I told her what you told me you were a gross bandage. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You are such a smart cookie. This way, you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Simply easy. No. Hey, there. Noticed you were. I'm Onion Sun. Onion Sun, you hear? Walk away. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's a great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time. But, hey, 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 that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Dine's gonna fix everything. You hear? It's gonna get out here and live in the ocean. You hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall! Simple.
That was fun. Just walk past it. Do I need an umbrella? I don't think so. Yo, you can't hold an umbrella either. If you're walking away, I guess I'll go with you. Haha. <laughs> Let's go. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, she's beating me up. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school to teach the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undying came to school? She could be up all these teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. <sighs> this is really pretty. Alright. Yo, you go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll, I always find a way to get through. Run! I'm dodging like crazy. Damn it. Let's head back. We we fell. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Kip, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Alright, this is where I was. So we are right where I left off. What's going on? Oh, the dummy's real. Ha ha ha, it's just like you run away. I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live in a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought you were in for a nice chat. But then, the things you said? Horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare you, your soul out of your body. Mad Dummy blocks the way. Oh, I love this music. He 
Yeah, prob that actually tracks. That tracks, that tracks. No, 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 don't item. It's mercy. I just wanted to attack something. I don't need friends. I've got You're knives. Right. I'm out of knives. <laughs> uh. Acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Ugh. Ugh. I'm sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as you came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having some fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. No, it's okay, buddy. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand. Hey, my house is up here in case you want to see or in case you don't. All right. Oh, you're hungry. I can get you something to eat.